you know, that mentality, no, be a man, you got to do it, man yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, of course. If you talk about mental health, people will think you're a p- But that, that's what I'm saying. But see, actually, you're more of a man if you're able to discuss these things and be open about them and be vulnerable about them because that's what real men do. Another thing that the reason why men are not discussing or talking mental health in the first place because we as men, we feel all the time that we are not allowed to be weak because we have family members or we have people depending on us if you are the carrier and you're showing signs of weakness you show any signs of weakness then it's not really gonna get good for your family yeah but that's the definition of weakness is is weakness basically saying that you're acknowledging that a man can express his feelings versus someone saying i can't do this anymore i'm done that's weakness yeah i don't think men do not have this option in right life. but if you try and find a solution for it If you persevere through it, if you will accept the challenge and move forward with it, but you're aware of what this does, how it affects you, then that's actually a strength because you're acknowledging there is an issue that you're addressing and that you're working towards. You're not giving up. Giving up is that narrative that people think that, oh, you're showing weakness. But if you're acknowledging it's okay to have days as men that you don't particularly feel good about yourself, that's not weakness. That means that you and I can be the same person on any given day where we have a low day. Now, are we going to feel sorry for ourselves or tomorrow we're going to try and tackle this day and make it better? That's when a real man stands up, not saying, well, I had a crap day. Tomorrow's going to be another crap day. I'm going to feel sorry for myself. That's losing. A winning is you're like, right, so how am I going to make this different now? I'm going to work on that one thing. Just that one thing is going to change things. At least do something for me. Because when you're on a plane and the plane's about to crash, the first thing they tell you to do is put your mask on before you put your partner's mask on or your kid's mask on. The reason why they tell you that because you can't look after them if you haven't looked after yourself. Now you think of mental health. Mental health is exactly the same thing. How are you supposed to look after a family when you're too worried about showing signs of weakness when you can't even put the mask on yourself? You can't even self-care. You can't even do things that's going to make you feel better. It could be anything. You'd be surprised. How many times have people listened to a track that they haven't heard for ages and smiled? Do some breath work. Call a friend or a family member that you haven't spoken to in a while. Give something to charity. Don't tell anyone you're doing it. Just do it. You'd be shocked. They say pray istikhara or pray just a normal prayer just to just to give something back. You know, we talked about giving. Let's think about giving instead of taking. And and maybe, and just maybe, that one person that's listening now might think, you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to go do now. I'm going to do something good for me for myself and then people are going to be lifted by that and then someone else is going to do that now all of a sudden all these people are doing something and it's coming back to them the way the universe works right subhanallah how sometimes you think oh man it can't get worse than this and then you get through it and then something else happens oh man this is really crap I now thought, I thought that was bad I thought that was now crap look at this look at this shit yeah, yeah. you know and then you get through it it's doing things for yourself and I think it's so important by the way writing a book I don't have all the answers now but I made those mistakes so now those people that are reading that they go okay I actually I feel a bit of this I feel like he does in this chapter maybe I need to address this now before it gets worse like when he hit that ground level and he questioned what his purpose was what is his why why is he doing something what, what's his purpose here then they start to identify with certain things and they go wow actually This book ain't about Amr al This book is about me finding myself in Reset. And I felt that in this book. Amazing. I'm so happy you said that.